Welcome back guys. Um, today we're gonna take the engine to the machine shop and we're gonna get it we're gonna hone it, uh, bore it 20 over and probably redeck it, clean it up, make Same. it look beautiful. And then so then it can go into this bitch. Yeah. And send people to Gapplebees. These are the pistons we're gonna put in, they're CPs. Uh, Beautiful. These are 8.5 to 1 compression ratio. And so gap size. Yeah, pretty much. Jesus. And these are the bell pins. Right here. So should probably shouldn't be doing this, but that's where they go. The rods. Mm -hmm. The rods. Oh, yeah. <coughs> where are your rods? I, don't, I only seen your pistons. And the rods we're gonna go with are Eagle rods, which should be good up to like 600. Um, what are you trying to push for to begin with? Like 500? Yeah, 500, 550. Some pretty thick boys. Damn boy, he's thick. And we're gonna go fix that fucking tire. Get that cut. And the crank's right there. It's chilling. Probably gonna go get that um, cleaned up too. So you're basically gonna clean up everything in the engine? Yeah. Just for the, just the bottom end for right now. And your head? Your head. Are you gonna get a new head or are you just gonna use the one you already have? I'm gonna use the one that I have. Want me to help you cook? Uh, okay. Okay. Strong man Beto. Okay, I see you. Alright. See you guys at the machine shop so we can go further into details. Everything went well. We're gonna get it. They said it in about two weeks, which isn't bad. The truck might be up and running. Pretty soon, pretty soon, pretty soon. But we're gonna need to order that clutch. Yeah. So, in order for them to balance the engine, the yeah, the engine, they said they need the clutch and. I'm gonna have to order that. Hopefully, it'll come in soon. How much you think your clutch is gonna be? Like 400, right? Maybe. Around there. 
Hopefully not too much. Is it, are you gonna get like the sports clutch, like an actual decent clutch now? Cause big power moves. It's probably gonna be like a stage five clutch. Stage, stage Let stage. Yeah. me drive. Something to hold in like at least 500 foot pounds of torque. Cause these engines are notoriously torquey. Well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing if you want to be just. Cause we're gonna, you, y'all are gonna see this fucking truck do some sick ass skits. But yeah, we're on, we're on our way to go see Josie. Nice job. Nice job, yeah. We're trying to go see if, if he can, can fix, fix the tire. Yeah. And we'll see you guys soon. Today, we're gonna be pulling out good old KA and. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna start off by taking out, taking out all the electric stuff, all of this, and then taking off the radiator, and we're gonna dismount the transmission. And we're going to start off by taking off the radiator. Um, and yeah. I don't know, this pretty simple. And I'm back. Um, it didn't take too long. Uh, what probably took the longest was some of the connections here. Um, so once you're done taking out your radiator and all your wiring harness, um, you should probably start by taking all these lines off. So like from the power steering and like the AC. And then I'm probably gonna take off the exhaust manifold too. And the fuel lines. And once you're done with that, you're probably going to take off uh, the transmission wiring harness down there. I think that connects to the alternator and the starter and all that. And once you're done with that, you'll probably start taking off all of the transmission bolts and the engine mounts. Which shouldn't be too long. Hopefully I can get it done in like 30 minutes or an hour. But it's hard when you don't got help. Um, yeah, that should that should be the rest of it. Shouldn't take too long. I'll get back to you once I'm done taking off the manifold and all the other lines like the AC and the power steering lines and the fuel lines. Yeah, shouldn't take too long. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, after an hour later. Um, most of it, everything is free. Exhaust and then all the bolts from the transmission. However, there is one in the very back, which is really hard to get to. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's all the way in there. And that's all I need one stupid little bolt to pull this thing out. Um, I'm probably gonna have to lift up the chain, pull it back. A little bit and then from the top and we'll wrench it from there. Um, and that should be it. Yeah, use that right there. Let's pull this thing out of here. Um, yeah, like I said, we're just gonna have to this connect the transmission and, and bring it in. She's out boys. It took a minute but I got her out and I'm gonna start disassembling her. And that's probably going to be part two of this video. And 
yeah thank you guys for watching